is for sure going to be the, the least fun part of the whole thing, but it's also the most rewarding part because as I get skinnier, I will be able to see all of my results. This is how you really truly gauge how well you're doing because oftentimes when you are keto, you are losing inches when you are not losing weight. So you need to measure yourself. Okay, so we're going to start with my neck. And it says my neck is, looks like that's 15 and a half. 15 and a half inches on the neck. 0.5. Okay. Chest. about 45 and a half I'm measuring basically at the nip so 45 and a half okay arms I guess we'll do a left and a right because sometimes you lose at different intervals because one arm is more dominant. Okay, so it's about 14 and a half. Well, it's a little closer than the 14, so it's about a 14 and a fourth. The left arm is 14 and like the 0.25, 14 point Two five. Okay. Oh, this is so complicated. Okay. This one is pretty much an even fourteen. Okay, right. Which is already more the, the more active arm for me. Okay, I'm doing the ribs next. So, this area, which I have lots of upper back fat. There is fat that comes over the side of my top. Which I have not looked at myself like this. I have not worn an outfit like this. Because I wouldn't normally try to bring awareness to myself as to what I'm looking like. I... You, I try to dress for my weight to try and hide it so I can wear big t-shirts and leggings. And, okay, so it says 42, almost 43, so it's 42.8. And I already weighed myself, I weighed 238 at the gym with clothes, so that's a little bit of a thing, but I don't know, I'd have to plug in the Wii, and I know that's probably your guys' expectation, but I'm doing things different this time. Okay. So, let's go, I'm going to say at the belly button. Around the hip. Well, this is... I guess love handles. Okay, it looks like an even 48 at the belly button. Belly button. An even 48. Okay, so butt and hips. Come around. Basically, I'm going to measure it where the shorts are. I'm going to try and wear the same outfit every time. Okay, 51. That basically, I'm measuring where the shorts come so that I have a, what is it again? 51, 51 inches. Okay, my, okay, so do thighs. And I'm just gonna go with the thickest part of the thigh. The thigh has a lot of places, 29 inches. 
on the left. Let's see what the right is. Oh, well, that's interesting. So it's 29 and a half, even though it's the more dominant leg. Right is 29 and a half. I'm gonna measure the calves because my calves have been having lots of edema and that means that that should improve. Okay, 16 and a half on the left. Sixteen point eight. Okay, sixteen and a half. And sixteen point eight. Left and right. That's kind of weird. I expected the right to be this or that. Okay, so I'm going to measure from the bottom of my belly. Well, should I do it like this? Okay. I'm going to measure from right here to the bottom of my belly. Sixteen and a half inches from here to here. Let me check again. I'm kind of show it off. Sixteen and a half inches from the top of my belly to the bottom of my belly. Because this hang is going to improve drastically. I'm going to take some pictures so that I can have some comparison stuff. But that is where I'm at. As far as measurement goes, I'm 238 pounds. I could have fluctuated up or down today, you never know. Um, but that's definitely where I am. Maybe I should, I don't know if you can measure your ring. Your ring does shrink. I think if you wear like an 8, you'll end up at a 6 by the end. I don't know if this is the measurement. Okay, so it says I'm at... It says I'm at a 6.5. I'm going to do it anyways. Right? Okay, ring. 6.5. Just for fun. See my finger shrink. One finger. My left hand finger. Okay, so I think I'm going to take a little picture. Uh, maybe I should go from the side. The side kind of looks a little bit more. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that works. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This is probably the hardest part of the journey is confronting where you're at, taking your measurement of weight and showing what is could potentially be thousands and thousands of people, depending on how many people start watching the channel. So half naked in your overweightness is definitely a rough thing to do, but I'm brave and I I I do this for myself and I do this for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I think, I don't know how often I'll measure or whatnot, but today is, I don't know what the date is. What is the date? I've got a calendar right here. So today is Thursday the 9th, and this is where I'm at. Thursday the 9th is my first one. I'm 238 pounds on Thursday the 9th of January 2020. Hopefully this is the last time I portray myself by going off the ketogenic diet because it's really, really rough to confront yourself and say, hey, this is my, my fourth or fifth journey and I just keep doing this to myself. But food is an addiction. Sometimes we go through emotional hardships that cause us to give up on ourselves and I'm picking myself back up. I might be ashamed of the fact that I betrayed myself, but I'm also proud of myself for starting again and being willing to show you guys, hey, I failed. But I ate keto for five years with, like, very little, like, betrayal in there. And 
this last year I really did go through something hard to get to where I'm at and something harder than I've ever gone through and so the self-betrayal is it has PTSD involved with it it has a lot of emotional trauma and I I genuinely just gave up I, I didn't care so now I do care and I'm willing to do something about it and I'm relaunching my channel to do it and I've got the support of a lot of wonderful people who understand what it's like to betray themselves so I'm not terribly ashamed and thank you so much for watching um, this is a moment where I could definitely use some encouragement and thank you so much Okay, bye guys.